The thing that we learned is that laptops, when you unplug them, everything clocks down. They don't run at full power. Running laptops by themselves on your back, not gonna work. You needed real power, real real energy density. So now we got laptops plugged in. We've been running VR when they're plugged in, flawless. Now we gotta trick the laptop into thinking it's plugged in. Ooh, whoops. I'm trying to build a backpack mounted PC because I really want to play VR without wires. I've been trying to do this for years. Yeah, this sounds kind of familiar. <laughs> yeah, it has a desktop 980 in it. Oh, it overheated again. Yeah, it's kind of familiar. Same old story. I didn't have the right hardware for it, and now I do. So I'm going to take this battery. Full charge is 25.2 volts. I'm going to step it down to the 19.5 that that laptop requires. It's a little tricky. I gotta make sure I do it right. I'm going to run this battery into the step down converter. I gotta run the step down converter through a power analyzer so I can see how much amperage is being pulled through it. Measure that out and dial it in. And then I need to get the plug. That's been the hardest part the plug for the laptop. So this is an Origin laptop. It uses this. Dang plug that I, can I can't find it. It's female pin sockets on a male plug. So it's really hard to search for it in Google because typing female or male on the plug doesn't yield you the correct results. I narrowed it down to its brother component. It's the Kaikon KPPX or the KPPJ. Uh, <laughs> rant complete. I ordered a piece that might work, it might not. Need to solder wires, soldering iron. And then I need to solder plugs on the end of the wire so you can plug it in. If you're ever buying a soldering iron, get one that has a temperature controlled head. Basically one that has a thermostat in it. It'll hold the heat you need all the time. It'll never overheat and burn the solder on the end. It'll never underheat. It just holds the perfect temperature. It's 40 bucks compared to like the usual like 10 or 20 you might pay. It's worth it. It's worth every penny. I have to really be careful that these don't touch and short each other out. That'd be bad news. Let's be a little extra safe. So I put some heat shrink tubing over the end of this. I turn on this hair dryer. Can you, can you hold this wire for me? Mm -hmm. Now the wire might get hot, okay? Okay. Should I get plugged? No. Let me feel that. Cool, I'll take this for you now. The problem with talking about this stuff, like when I talk about like film techniques, is that I know what I'm talking about when I talk about visual effects and film techniques. Whereas I don't know, I don't know what I'm talking about when I talk about this. And I'm still figuring it out as I go. So it's like, I have long pauses of silence while I try to think about how I'm going to solve a problem. Such as, here's the plug that I've been looking for for a long time. Finally found it. Cost me like 10 bucks just to order this one. The bottom's positive, the top is negative. What color is positive? Red. And it's split across two pins because the power draw from the laptop is so big they need to get a four pin connector and just have two of the pins be the same thing for each half of it. Now, now I need to solder this 10 gauge wire to these pins, which are definitely not 10 gauge soldering pins. I can't overlap it. So probably just start by putting some solder in it. There's a little bit of solder on your soldering iron, a little bit of solder on your connectors, and a little bit of solder on your wire. That's the best way to do it. Gotta bridge both of these bottom pins with this wire, which I can do like this, but I can't have it touch the top pins. It's almost like I should just solder it to the wire like that. Get a bunch of solder, that's all really toxic smoke, and heat up the wires, and the wires that get hot should wick away the metal from my soldering iron. This isn't like exciting, huge problems here. This is just, this is just care and attention put. But there are stakes here. If I screw this up, I got a long time to wait before I get my next connector. Surprised you didn't order two. Yeah, that's not the kind of guy I am.
This is way better than a wet sponge. Freddie introduced me to this. It's just like a steel wool kind of thing with a bunch of like solder flux in it. And then all your solder from the tip of the iron falls off in a little dish. Does a way better job of cleaning the iron than uh, a wet sponge does. Now for the other side. Ah, ha, ha. Stripping wire. Something about melting metal it makes it feel really cool. And now, now I have to solder. If you can look here, if you get above it, you'll see there's the pin coming up. And then I'm just gonna do this. this plug, I think I did a good job. I need to put an XT60 connector on the other end of that wire. Specifically, female. And this is the part where you can't forget to put the heat shrink tubing on the wire before you solder the <laughs> stuff on it. <laughs> this makes it a lot easier to connect the two because all I have to do is heat them up and stick them together. And then all I have to do here, squeeze it down. And once the heat transfers through the wires, it should get down to the solder that I put in there and melt. Over here, oops. Oh, just the pin twist inside of it. So Jake is good. <clears throat> Carpentry and wood craftsmanship. I feel like I've gotten pretty decent at soldering and wire work. You two could build a house together. We could. So Jake could build the frames and I could put in the electrical. See, being an electrician would be fun. I would actually enjoy being an electrician. That was so clean. It's the cleanest connection I've done yet. It's like sitting right in there. It is. Your eyes do not deceive you. It is that connector. I knew it. It's all done. I can plug a battery in. I can plug it in to a laptop. <clears throat> it's pretty sweet. I, here's the thing, I can't dial in the amperage until I plug it into the laptop. Um, hey, you're leaving right now, aren't you? I'm taking off, yeah, why is that? Um, this is done, I could try it. Okay, you can try it. Do you want do you want to wait like five minutes for me to go get the laptop and the battery? I was gonna take Obi to a dog park. <laughs> before it gets dark. Okay. We'll do this tomorrow. They are indeed. You're holding yeah, this one just, upside down. I am? Yeah. yeah. See how there's a flat bit here with a little indenture? One more. There you go. Like that. That's the same way. How long did it take you to find that piece? Oh, it took me weeks to find that piece. No, that's stable. Nice. Oh, interesting. Uh, that's odd. Why are these wires backwards? Reverse. Wait a minute. Oh, well, they're no. reversed over here, too. No, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Is red, red, is, red is going to... Oh, you're <laughs> well, it's reversed, reversed, so that means it's, it's the yeah, right it's, way it's, at the end. Well, I'm going to fix that. <laughs> but, you're right. I did that wrong. Okay, let me just double check all of these now. Yeah. The flat side of the XT60 has to be positive. Oh. This has the flat side being negative. So yeah. some so some soldering later. So it's just the XT60 that is flipped. The wires connected to the board are fine. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, we can... Well, whatever, I did it.
I'm super paranoid about this now, but it looks Yeah, correct. that matches up. <laughs> flat is red. Red flat. A T T watt, but... We're getting 19.6 to 19.5 volts. So the computer's on right now, and we're at 62% on battery on the inside of it. Okay. There's a chance of frying this brand new Origin laptop we just got? Yeah, in fact, the chances are quite high. It'll probably be dead after this. Why are you doing that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna fry it. Well, don't do that. Use another laptop to test it. No, we yeah. need to use this one specifically. Use this one. That one, I'm serious about. Well, there's, so there's no, no other laptop with that type of connector in the back of it. Yeah, this is the only one that pulls that much voltage in with this kind of connector. Can you turn off that fan? So, here's my thought. I guess right there. Yeah, I love you all here today to hopefully abs help absolve me and share the blame if I fry this laptop. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do when this laptop breaks? <laughs> Call origin and battery running to a voltage converter. We can see it right now putting out 19.5 volts. It's going into the plug. It's all soldered as you normally would this stuff. Can you guys see anything that could possibly fry this laptop? Yeah, that whole thing right there. I love how nervous he is. <laughs> I'm not nervous at all. I think this is gonna go completely fine. Aside from actually putting the pins in there and being able to get the actual voltage reading from inside there, we tested it inside there. We're getting the right voltage here. Like, it should be fine. We made the mistake of putting the wrong cables in the wrong places, but he fixed that now. Oh, that's good. Hey, it's plugged in. Get and in. we're showing us charging. I'm pulling five amps. It's going working. all right. It's yeah. working! But it is pulling 11 consistently now. Yeah. Yes, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're hitting 220 watts. Is anything heating up? Oh, it's, there's hot heat coming out the computer. Whoa! That's what's... And then, uh, just like one spot of this. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. No, though. I'm not worried about that because the huge heat sink it has. But, I mean... Ooh, th these wires are heating up. Well, there's a little on it. But we're talking about like... Oh, yeah. Barely. We're not talking about much. You just put it in front of this vent. Dang <laughs> it! But like right in the middle here is like the coolest it can be. Yeah, not too much. Not too much. It's no more hot than this stuff. Okay. <laughs> so the real test here is to now take this and plug it into our laptop that's hooked up to the Vive. And see if that's Where working. is that? It's next door. This would be on a backpack. Yeah. And all the power to charge, the, to run the laptop is also in the backpack. And then Whoa. I can just be there swinging swords without getting caught in the, in the cables. That's awesome. Dude, that's so much better. Is that how they have it at the 2-bit circus, or is it wires everywhere? Uh, they have some that are backpack mounted, and they have some that are wires. What's the 2-bit circus? The 2-bit circus is that VR arcade down the street that we all went to last week, and you're like, no, I'm going to paint my minis instead. And we're like, all right. So this is the production laptop we're currently using for Node. Uh, we've run the VR system through it. I've unplugged it from the wall. It's plugged into the Vive right now. I'm going to plug it into my mobile power supply, and I'm going to run VR. And if VR runs at full frame rate, then it works. How long have you been working on this? Like three years. <laughs> All right. And the verdict is, oh, the frame rate's butter smooth. <laughs> runs great. So I got the laptop working at full power when it's not plugged into the wall. It's pulling all the electricity from this battery. And I've tricked the laptop into thinking that this battery in this system is actually house power basically running to the laptop. So nothing's being down clocked. Everything's running at full power and I can run VR in full frame rate. Now the last thing I have to do is put this in a backpack so that I can be free to move around without any wires holding me down. Going into the game. You know, this is more like relief that it works as opposed to like celebration. <laughs> feel like Harry Potter? Uh, I feel like the first man in space. Ryan Gosling, the first man in space. I feel relief that's working. And I got plenty of improvement to do to this rig. I want to have this like hanging up up there when it's time for us to record VR games and just walk up, hit play, close the laptop put it on and then like strut into the middle of the room and I get to just like do this without any entanglement and just be wherever I want. I got this up and running. More work to do to make it perfect. And of course I gotta play some sick VR games. Subscribe if you wanna see me continue working on this and turning it into something special, it's an ultimate video game machine. Also, 
Next door here, it's Stress Level Zero. Brandy is doing a lot of VR development, and they have five pros in the 2.0 trackers, which let you have a much, much bigger volume. So theoretically, we could replicate the building in 3D, and I could run through the entire building wearing VR. I think we're gonna try to do something like that. Shout out to Node. If you guys haven't heard of Node, it's our gaming channel. We do a lot of VR there. You guys are working on the videos right now. You'll see this in action on Node. Consider hopping over there and taking a look. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been like three years to get this up and running. Finally got it. Finally got the power working. Now I just need to make it extra slick and easy to use. <laughs> the challenge of engineering.